I'm sitting here watching some videos and my nephew comes out and we start talking about The Walking Dead and the marathon that's on on Sunday and how it's going to be going into Fear the Walking Dead. It is almost two o'clock in the morning. Well, we wanted to know what time the marathon starts. It starts at 3 a.m. So it looks like we're not going to go to sleep because we're going to sit up and start watching the marathon in an hour. <laughs> so, yay! <laughs> Good morning, everybody. It's Sunday morning. I'm feeling okay. I'm sure some of you are going to ask. So, I feel fine. Um, the band had a good time. I had a good time. We're having, I'm having some issues recording um, the band live with the cameras that I have. If it gets a little too loud, uh, uh, my Sony will shut down. So, um, we were trying to record something last night and it just shut down at some point. And uh, so, we got to figure out how to, how to deal with that. And um, so, I got you a little taste of it. <clears throat> Last night of the band, it uh, wasn't that good a recording, obviously. It sounded a lot drum-heavy. But it, it wasn't too bad. And uh, we're going to put up another channel, and we'll be posting uh, music there. Uh, a lot of it's going to be covers, so um, uh, you'll see that. And uh, at some point, we're going to do some professional recording. So I hope you enjoy it. Uh, today... <clears throat> I'm tired, not hungover, tired, so I'm going to go uh, have lunch with my mom, and uh, I think that's pretty much all I'm going to do, I'm just going to take a day off, hang out with the boomster here. Good morning guys, so I got through most of the first episode of The Walking Dead that started at 3 a.m., and then I fell asleep during the last like five minutes of it and I woke up during the fourth episode of The Walking Dead because my dad needed me and now I'm on the fifth episode so I'm staying awake now because I feel like I'm wide awake again and I'm watching that and I'm checking out some vlogs so I hope you guys are all having a wonderful Sunday morning and you guys all know what we'll be doing today. Walking Dead, Talking Dead, and then the new Fear, The Walking Dead. Boom, boom, boom. So it's a pretty nice day out today. Got to uh, wander out in the neighborhood a little bit. I didn't go out too much. Decided to take the day off. So, this is my garage, still a mess. I'll be able to attack the garage as soon as I finish the floor. Yes, I'm gonna finish the floor. Okay guys, so, Pa has been up already and I changed his bandages. We're out of the really good bandages that last for a few hours. Um, I changed his bandage at what about six o'clock? Yeah, about six o'clock. And what time is it now? I have no idea. It, I have my phone. I have it all done. And it is nine o'clock right now. So we have to run to the store. Um, I'm going with my mother this time because. I don't want my mother to go in and the kids don't know exactly what type of bandages to get and we didn't save the box so my mom and I are off she's driving I'm gonna run in so she can stay off of her foot at least and mission bandages on underway mission bandages underway all right, so it's about that time. It's time to watch Fear of the Walking Dead, and hopefully it's going to be as good as 
as it's been cracked up to be. So, and it's recording right now. Um, Val, I'm assuming, is watching it right now, but I'm recording it just in case she doesn't. I'm gonna sit down, watch some zombies, along with uh, um, with uh, Jason, Daryl, Daryl, Jason, Dixon, and of course Bones. Hello everybody, I am here to give you guys all an update on the Lone Wolf. We've known for a little while now that they did not get all of the cancer during the surgery. The surgeon said that there were minuscule cancer cells left that he could not see with his goggles. He got the pathology report back and he called and gave us the information. We did not tell the lone wolf until today when my sister arrived from New York. He's taken the information pretty well. Right now he's out watching the Met game with my nephews, so that is pretty good. Um, I expected it to be a little bit harder on him than it is. Um, it may be a little bit more difficult once everybody leaves um, today or tonight to go home. Um, my sister's not leaving. She's here for about a month, though, so that'll that'll help. Um, the surgeon referred him to a chemotherapist and a radiologist to see what they feel his odds are for his body to and heart to withstand chemotherapy or radiation. So he has an appointment later this month with them um, to discuss options. So we still need those thoughts and prayers and good wishes and happy, healthy vibes and all of that being sent to the Lone Wolf. If anybody would like to send any cards or anything, you can send them to our P.O. box and they would be forwarded to him. I am still in North Carolina. My mother's having her knee surgery on September 2nd, and my father, I believe, has an appointment on the 13th, and, um, no, excuse me, on the 8th, and um, at this point, I still don't have a date as to when I am going to be returning back to California. I do miss my family desperately. And um, I do want to be home with my husband. <laughs> and I would like to see Megan before she leaves to go to college. But my father doesn't really want me to leave right now. So not quite sure when I'll be heading home. All right, gang, this is the end of another vlog. And uh, I hope everybody liked it. It didn't do a whole lot, obviously. Um, we. We watched TV, Walking Dead, Fear of the Dead, uh, hung out with uh, Daryl Voorhees here and Bones, and that's about it. Um, so as you know, we could use some thoughts and prayers for uh, Fred, um, Rita, and uh, we have a, apparently a, a forest fire up in Big Bear, which is close to some of our friends up there. Uh, Psycho Sarah lives up there with her family. So thoughts and prayers, everybody, and uh, we will see you all tomorrow. Bye.